No answers tonight into what caused an Osprey aircraft based out of Camp Pendleton to crash in the Imperial County Desert. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carla Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. Five Marines were on board and we're still waiting to, for official word from the military to see if any of them survived. What we do know is the Osprey went down around 1230 off State Route 78 near Glamis. It's about 25 miles east of El Centro. We're told the aircraft was part of Pendleton's Marine Aircraft Group 39. You can see it's a devastating crash scene with no sign of any of the aircraft remaining intact. CBSH Richard Allen is near the crash site with the latest on the investigation. Well, that's right. Military police are still on scene. We've also seen first responders, both military and civilian, as they work to account for the five people on board and as the military prepares for an intensive investigation into what brought this aircraft down. Uh, let's say our prayers for, uh, for, the, uh, for the families and the air crew. The MV-22 Osprey crashed in this remote part of Imperial County near Highway 78 and Coachella County Road at around 1225 this afternoon. Military officials confirmed that the craft belonged to the 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing out of Camp Pendleton. Five people were on board during this training mission. Uh, if you've ever uh, worn the uniform, uh, you're always terribly empathetic for uh, you know the situation that they're undergoing. Uh, at this time. Jim Kidrick is president of the San Diego Air and Space Museum. He says the Osprey, designed to transport troops, equipment, and supplies from ships and land bases, has tremendous capabilities as both a plane and a helicopter. Set down uh, exactly where they want that airplane to land. They don't need a runway. What caused this Osprey to go down, though, is still not clear. Uh, the investigation, of course, is going to be extremely thorough. Kidrick says military investigators will examine every aspect of this mission uh, the training qualifications of all of the crew members you know the the brief the flight itself he also says the primary focus now is on each of the crew members who were on board as well as their families the most important assets we have are ourselves are the people that we work with every day and we always do an investigation with an eye towards how do we prevent this from happening again and despite initial reports to the contrary military officials confirmed that there was no nuclear material on board this aircraft when it crashed